What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel for those of you who are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Today what we're doing is changing the turbo cartridge out of a VF30 Subaru Turbo. I did a kind of a fast forward bit on that on one of the STI builds. A lot of people wanted to know how it's actually done, so I'm going to go a little slowly and explain things a little better. Here's the turbo, we're replacing it because of excessive shaft play. This one's not too bad if I'm being honest, but the customer would rather have it all refreshed before putting it in their car, because last thing you want to do is put a turbo on and then take it back off to rebuild it a few weeks later. Here is the new cartridge. Uh, it comes with new crush washers for the coolant lines and uh, for the oil feed line, and it also comes with a uh, new gasket for the oil drain. And then, of course, the fresh turbo cartridge. Pretty fancy. So we're going to set this and the washers aside and we're going to start uh, disassembling the turbo. The first thing you're going to want to do is get all of the pipes and tubes, uh, the wastegate actuator, V-band clamp, get all that out of the way so you're left with just the bare turbo. Really simple on these turbos. Most of this will be done with just a handful of basic tools. Some things are a little tight, that's to be expected on old car parts. For the wastegate actuator, you have uh, a little clip at the bottom here. You gotta take that off and then you can remove the rod. Just like that. So it's basically it's an E-clip and if you can get a pick somewhere inside and just give her a yank, they pop right out. All right, the next step is getting all of the eight mils that hold the actuator on. Just like that. The final uh, bit of hardware you have to take off is just these uh, these eight mils and these little brackets that hold the cold side of the turbo to the center cartridge. Okay, so this is aluminum. Uh, you're gonna be very gentle. Just a couple light taps should do it. Just like that. Up until now, everything has been pretty simple. It's all just been unbolt things and uh, take them off. Here's the part that you might run into some troubles. The turbo cartridge fits inside of the hot side of the turbo. Then it's held together with this clamp that we already removed. The issue is you're gonna have this and this rusted together. There's nothing holding it right now other than the rust itself. Easiest way I found to take this apart is with an air hammer. And even that, not real easy. Those of you that don't have air tools or an air hammer at home, this is where you're gonna get upset. Just like that. And that was it for the disassembly. Very straightforward. The only issue you guys are gonna run into if you don't have an air hammer is getting this guy out of there. The next step we're on now, unfortunately, no, not reassembly yet, it's prep work, everyone's favorite. Gotta clean all the rust inside here so that the new cartridge will actually fit. Gotta clean all the old sealant off of this. While we're at it, make sure you clean inside all the old oil or whatever is left inside of there. We're gonna start with the hot side of the turbo. I'm gonna get a wire wheel on a drill. We'll get that cleaned up and also, 
if you look here it has a broken stud someone's tried to extract so we're gonna get the torch out heat this up just a little bit get some extractors on there and hopefully pull that stud out as well so now we got a wire brush on a drill and we're gonna use that to clean all of the rust buildup that's in here and that's what she looks like after a bit of a wire wheeling now we're gonna test fit the cartridge to make sure that uh, we're done if it doesn't fit then uh, is going to need more wire wheeling. Now when installing the cartridge uh, there's an alignment dowel in the hot side of the turbo and a hole in the cartridge. Line those up because if you don't it's not going to fit. Don't drop it either. All right so now I can squeeze it down a little bit more I just don't want to get it stuck because we still have more work to do but that should be it for the wire brush. Pop this back out and set it aside. Now I'm going to get the torch and we're going to extract this. So to remove a broken stud from a turbo casting like this, we're going to heat up just the corner here, uh, not the stud itself, but the turbo. And we're going to use an extractor like this, uh, hammer it on, and then it's going to spin the stud out. Obviously use one the right size. And just like that, broken stud is out. You can see the threads in there actually still look like they're pretty good. I will run a tap through them just to clean them up, make sure the new stud will drive in there properly. Okay, now we're down to the final stage before reassembly, and that's cleaning. We're going to clean all of the sealant out of here. Uh, I like to use some fine Scotch-Brite and just scrub it out of there, uh, then get everything else out with some brake cleaner. This will help clean all the oil and whatever else is left in your turbo. You wanna make sure you get everything out of this. Last thing you want is junk going through your turbo and then into your engine. So don't skip this step, clean everything well. And then as for the hot side of the turbo, because we've already wired wheeled it, already extracted the bad stud, all we have to do is uh, spray some brake clean to clean it all out. It's about all you need to do with uh, the hot side. Everything after that just goes out the exhaust. The cold side is where you gotta pay more attention. You gotta get all of this sealant out of there just so that when you apply the fresh stuff on there and put it together, if you don't, you're gonna end up getting a boost leak between the two halves of your turbo. Okay, the last little bit in the corner is gonna be hard to get out. That, I very lightly use a pick. Now you don't wanna gouge the aluminum, you just wanna scrape it across the leftover sealant. Very little pressure. After you've got it looking nice and clean, it's time to begin reassembly. Okay, now it's finally time for the assembly process. Like I mentioned before, make sure you align the little dowel with the hole in the cartridge. Just like that. Next up, the clamp. I only snug it up uh, just for when I put all the other tubes on, this might get in the way. I try to orient it the same position. Sometimes you may have to adjust it a little to one side or the other. Up next, cold side. All right, so now we have a nice bead of the gasket maker on there. It's time to add the cold side of the turbo. Now what's important now is to make sure that you clock the turbo correctly. So if you put it like this, or like this, the intercooler is just not gonna fit. So basically it has to go 90 degrees from the exhaust. So the exhaust is going like this. This has to go like this. Just like that. The next step is going to be bolting it all back together. That's pretty simple. I'm going to take her off the vise. To bolt everything together, I'm going to start with uh, just the little bolts and these little plates, and then afterwards I'm going to put the wastegate on. That also holds the cold side of the turbo to the cartridge. I just find it's a lot easier to fiddle with these at first. Now 
these are just little eight millimeter bolts going into aluminum so don't go too crazy because you will strip the threads out of the cold side of the turbo okay all we have left are a couple of the fluid tubes very important don't forget to use the new crush washers and gaskets now there's two different sizes of crush washers there's going to be four big ones two small ones the two small ones are going to be for the oil feed line you don't have to tighten that down until you get that in the car like there's no oil feed line on this so i just stack them onto the banjo bolt and i'll loosely thread them in there as for the coolant ones i'm going to put one on the banjo bolt and then the other one is going to go underneath the line so that basically you have copper washer line and then copper washer There's the drain tube. Uh, another thing to watch out for is sometimes the gasket gets stuck to the drain tube, sometimes it gets left on the old cartridge. Uh, I lucked out, drain tube came out clean. And if you look closely, this is not straight, it kind of goes off to one side. Uh, this goes towards the cold side of the turbo. that's it one turbo with new turbo cartridge this is pretty simple it shouldn't take more than a couple hours if you have the right tools if you don't have an air hammer you're gonna have a bad time getting the turbo cartridge out even without one it's possible we've done it before we've just complained a lot anyways i hope this video helped you guys if it did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe there's gonna be many more videos yeah we're getting close to the big thousand